What's going on guys, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan, I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video which is about Frank Lampard and the three reasons why he can succeed as Chelsea Football Club manager. Before I do get into today's video, I'd like to request that you do subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell notifications icon because I upload all the time and you wanna keep up. And also, do me a favor please and like this video. All right, Frank Lampard, Chelsea. Everyone knows it's a very, very difficult season for the legend. He's got a transfer ban, he's lost Ed and Hazard. There's a, he's a new coach, there's a lot of things going against him. So is it a free hit? I'm not so sure. Chelsea always expects greatness and Frank Lampard himself has verbalized this in press conferences when you know first appointed as Chelsea manager and every time he gets a mic put in his face the whole we are Chelsea this is Chelsea I don't think he wants to concede to a season that's a free hit but he has acknowledged and is lucid to the fact that it's an incredibly difficult season for Chelsea not because of his own hamstrung restrictions from this season but because of the opposition around him so in today's video I'm going to be telling you why Frank can become a really successful Chelsea manager and I'm not going to be saying stuff like Frank's incredibly intelligent and astute in football which he is but that's a bit of a cop-out reason I think everyone knows Frank is a smart footballing modern kind of perspective on football kind of guy and also I do want to use that cop-out excuse of He's a club legend, therefore he'll get loads of time and good grace from the fans, which again is true, but for me that doesn't make for interesting and exciting content. So then, I've compiled three of what I think are the most salient points and best reasons why Frank Lampard can and probably will be a success in West London. The first one is Frank Lampard's philosophy. So at the moment that sounds a bit silly because clearly there's a lot of problems with Frank Lampard's football. You can even look at his derby team as well as Chelsea's pre-season and their mistakes away at Old Trafford. There are the obvious issues like defending set pieces, Frank still hasn't managed to work out in his teams yet, space between the lines in terms of the defensive line and the midfield line, leaving Chelsea or Frank Lampard's Chelsea more specifically really vulnerable on transitions. So it's not all perfect, but the youngest manager in the Premier League has the right idea. Sure, Frank Lampard's footballing approach is a little bit gung-ho and certainly looks like that at the moment, but there is method behind his madness and it can succeed in the Premier League's current climate. So let me specify a little bit more. Frank Lampard's Chelsea or Frank Lampard's football, kind of at Derby as well, he creates a lot of chances. Now, chance creation is one of the most important things in football. You can have all the most sterile possession in the world with no impetus or ability to break through or you can just sit in and dig in and play on the counter attack, which can work really well in English football. But if you want to be at the top of the table at the moment, at the elite teams in English football, you need to be creating chances all the time. And Lampard's Chelsea does that. At the moment, Lampard's frustrations and certainly Chelsea's frustrations are coming from wasted chances, hitting the woodwork, not having good finishing or coming up against good goalkeepers in form, Jan Sommer and David De Gea. But the point is, the combinations are there. And it's not route one direct football, which I think Frank Lampard would have no problem with as well. There's loads of intricate passes on the ground, great combinations, attacking the space, and playing between the lines, which makes for incredibly exciting football. Sure, there's defensive problems at Chelsea at the moment, but again, I'd like to reiterate, Frank Lampard is not an idealist like, say, Maurizio Sarri. He will see a problem and he will change it, whether that's formation, personnel, tactical approach, balls over the top, balls on the deck, taking it out wide, playing it through the middle. He's happy to do whatever it takes to win games. But regardless, his default initial approach is scoring goals, whether that's a lot of goals from midfield, which you know, you'd expect from Frank Lampard as a coach, or it's bringing in other players and getting them involved. One thing is for sure, Chelsea under Frank Lampard will not be short of creating chances, and provided people start finishing better, Chelsea will score a lot of goals. And like I said before in this point, that's how you sit at the top of the table in English football at the moment. You need to be really direct, keep the ball on the ground for the most part and create loads of chances. Chelsea under Frank Lampard will do that. Right then, point number two, and that's young talent. Chelsea have what's deemed to be for a lot of players, generational talent. Now I'm talking about the obvious ones like Callum Hudson-Odoi, 
absolute superstar wonder kid followed by German scouts for a long time and if German scouts are following you they know what they're talking about and if they're Bayern Munich want to break their transfer budget for a kid who's barely played you've got something special. A player like Hudson Odoi can develop into an absolute superstar over the next 10 years and he's like many Chelsea players been with the club for such a long time. Players like Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Rhys James, Tammy Abraham. Now the jury is out a little bit on Tammy Abraham but the point I'm making is they all have the Chelsea DNA and talent and they want to play for the club and for each other. Another incredibly talented player is Mason Mount. Frank Lampard sees himself in Mason. Mason's widely regarded as an incredibly young bright English talent. Obviously he went to go and train with the England first team and he was incredibly important to Frank Lampard's derby. When he was out the team they played poorly. When Mason Mount was back in the team they played really well. If Frank Lampard sees some of himself in this young player. This is the kind of player Chelsea need to be nurturing because Frank Lampard is probably Chelsea's greatest ever player. And you can add to this list Christian Pulisic. Sure he's a big money new signing but he's 20 years old. They're all young lads, I don't want to say kids but young men that all are incredibly talented and for the next few years can develop under this really young inspirational coach and become something special. And on the generational talent talking point, Reese James, and he's a huge one. In the modern era, fullbacks now are so, so important. Just like how wingers used to be so, so important in the like late 90s or the 90s in the Premier League. It's kind of turned into fullbacks. The way modern teams play, they are so important in a successful modern structure or a modern approach to football. Sadly for Chelsea, that's looking less and less like Azpilicueta can fill that void, but Reese James, absolutely can. I actually dedicated a whole video on Rhys James and how amazing he was for Wigan last season on loan and the type of player he is and really why he's so important for Chelsea and how he could actually become the best right back in the Premier League. Now you got players like Wan Bissaka and Trent Alexander-Arnold. You could say Trent's a really good attacking fullback, uh, Wan Bissaka's a really good defensive fullback. I believe Rhys James can do it all. Again, he's a really young lad and of the Chelsea Academy. And this group of players are all like 18 to 21. So they're young, they can develop together, they can grow that camaraderie. Um, they're all fluent English speakers, English if not American. They can gain a bond and they can basically be a great success in the Premier League. They all have amazing talent, yet they can all, they're not like plug and play European mercenaries. Do you know what I mean? They can develop as a team. So sure, a world-class talent like Eden Hazard has left the club who burdened so many of the goals and assists for Chelsea, but now they can distribute the belief throughout the team. I did a video on why I think Chelsea can play better as a team now Eden Hazard's gone, and I do genuinely believe that. So with a shared belief across this young, talented team that grow and develop together, Frank Lampard has a real chance of building something incredibly special, a generational talent squad. So that's the first two talking points completed. The first one is Frank Lampard's philosophical and pragmatic approach to modern football which works. And secondly, it's the talent, the young talent, the young talent that's been through the ranks together, that have won together at youth level, that are widely recognised as incredibly special young players that just need a little bit of time and nurturing. Which leads me on to the third and final talking point, and that's on Frank Lampard himself, his character. Now this one, it sounds like a cop out, but it's actually the most important. And like I said at the beginning of the video, it's not because he's a legend, he'll be given time, and it's not because because he's a well-presented, well-speaking, intelligent coach, which is true, but it's actually this, leadership and inspiration. Now, the most successful coaches across footballing history have inspired the players. They act as a muse. Players need to absolutely want to play for their coach, to run through brick walls for their coach. Just look at the greatest teams of all time and how they viewed their coach. Prime Jose Mourinho, Alex Ferguson, Diego Simeone when Atletico are at their best. Frank Lampard is one of the greatest footballers to ever play the game and everyone recognises that. And it's not like 
he's an unpleasant character who's a bit nasty. Players adore him, he speaks incredibly well, he likes youth but he inspires people. Frank Lampard wore the captain's armband in Munich and Amsterdam, he is a leader. John Terry was his leader for Chelsea but so was Frank Lampard. Lampard led by example on the pitch too by scoring clutch goals and just basically being the man for the big moment. Maurizio Sarri was an idealist and I quite liked him but I'd never see him inspiring the players in the dressing room. There was that problem about motivation. Frank Lampard is not going to have that issue. And this is no small benefit for Chelsea. This is such a huge factor. Think of big games. Think of the game against Leeds when Frank Lampard was managing Derby and they came out turned that game around. Imagine what he said in the dressing room. If there's one man that's going to put his arm around you tell you you can do it and rally you, say the right speech at the right time. It's Frank Lampard. There's nothing worse than a game plan going wrong and a coach telling you what you're doing wrong at half time. But Frank Lampard comes in, says the right thing to you, connects with you, builds up that belief in you, you'll go out there and you will give everything for your coach. Not all teams have that. And this is not something that just the modern game demands. Sure, players are probably more emotionally sensitive today and that's probably a good thing so the arm around the shoulder is important and in the training pitch at Cobham Frank Lampard will offer that to all players young and experienced day by day and when it's coming from a player like Frank Lampard you listen so hugely hugely important now it's a turbulent times at Chelsea but the fact remains is people do have belief in the coach the players want to play for him, the young players are getting the chance. Chelsea as a club have amazing young talented players that could be at the club for a long time and the coach is employing a good tactical footballing approach for modern day football in the Premier League. Patience is key in ironing out a few defensive issues and finishing off all these chances that Chelsea are and will continue to create. So that's it for my video today guys, please get down in the comments, let me know how you think Frank Lampard's Chelsea tenure will go. You can express your concerns, talk to me about that and talk to me about who you think will be a success at Chelsea in terms of players and personnel. Leave your comment as well and your opinion on how long Frank Lampard will stay as Chelsea manager. Other than that guys I want to thank you for watching the video. If you did like the video please do like it, subscribe if you are new. Remember I've started doing live streams in the evening so check that out, it's usually around 8 p.m. You can support this YouTube channel by becoming a patron to the Patreon link in the description and follow me on social media at Football Yannick. That's at Football Yannick on Instagram and Twitter. Anyway guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. I'm out. Enjoy the football. I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me,